with the food. Don't mess with my food. I'll hop ships. I'll go to Carnival. Be like, give me my luggage. I thought that lady was naked. I thought that lady was naked. Look. Oh look. yeah. She does have For like... the viewers. This is our view, by the way. Here we are. In beautiful Bahamas. We're in the Bahamas. So you guys can see our view. This is us right here in the Bahamas. Just chilling. Just chilling, do a little bit of podcasting. Being beach bums. Yeah. That we deserve because we work hard. When you work hard, you play hard. You play hard, really and hard. Today, whoa. <laughs> and every day until if this it goes is over, we're gonna play hard. Can you let me know if we go out of frame? Yeah. Keep an eye on it, let me know. We've had an adventure ever since uh, coming here, right? Like ever since the airport, it's been an adventure. Oh man, yeah. We've been going with the flow though, you know? Cause this trip has taught us that life is gonna throw you curveballs and unexpected twists and turns. And you're just gonna have to learn how to just roll with the punches. That's true, babe. We flew with American Airlines this time. I've been flown with American Airlines in a long time, and I, I gotta say, I liked it. It was pretty cool, it was chill, pretty comfortable. Shout out to American Airlines. Now I think of American Airlines, I automatically think of Tiffany Gomez. Yeah. Did you see Tiffany Gomez came out with a competition? The best person dressed as her could win a competition to fly through some airline. Hey guys, once again, New York Post came for me, so now I am coming for you. Let's have a little fun with it. I want to see your best rendition of this fit, and then I will choose three of my favorite lookalikes, and then we will all choose a winner, and the winner will then receive two first-class tickets either on Delta, United, or Priority Passes on Southwest. So show me what you've got. And I don't know if it was a prank or is just some kind of marketing thing. That was pretty cool, yeah. And she was like, kind of like, again, making fun of herself with a costume to see who gets the best costume as Tiffany Gomez. We should actually look I it up. I should do it. Yeah. Just we should probably type in the the, the hashtag, huh? Tiffany, Go Tiffany Gomez costume. I would love to do it just for fun. You should do it, baby. I will. I will do it, Tiffany Gomez. But yeah, it was cool flying, I think, through American Airlines. And I think the, the security experience was cool because our flight was going to take off at 7. So we ended up getting there, what, two hours early? Yes, we got there, I think, within good time, two hours before. Yeah, we checked in one bag. Our bag, the limit is 50 pounds. We're 50.6. No, we actually were a little over more. A little bit over more? When I checked it in, the lady said we were at 52. Oh, we did. I think I added some more things. But then I tripped out when she was like, ooh, the water just got all the way over here. Ooh. I tripped out when she was like... Uh, Oh, lithium batteries. You can't bring in the lithium batteries or something like that. I'm like, lithium batteries? You can't bring them on a plane? What are you talking about? Everything has this lithium ba batteries. Uh, <laughs> cell phones, laptops, the Nintendo Switch. Everything. Yeah, when you told me, no, you're going to be fine. But she made a whole big deal about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She made a whole big deal. That was weird. But then we get to the security. And that was pretty easy. Chill experience. But I made the mistake of not taking out the switch. Ah, uh, you took out the laptop, but you forgot the switch. I didn't take out the switch. So they ran it back. And I'm always like, they're not going to find anything. So, oh, look, they're in the water with the GoPro, huh? There's this couple with the GoPro. Yeah, they're having fun. I'm having fun right here, podcasting. Yeah. Judging them. How about that? They're probably over there judging us. <laughs> yeah, they're probably recording video they're never going to watch again. Have you ever noticed that? When you go on vacation, we do a lot of recording of like the scenery and all that. But if we don't use it for B-roll, we're never going to see it again. It's like recording a concert sometimes. That's true. Unless you show it to like your friends and family when you get back. Yeah. But other than that. That's why I've been like a little bit more intentional lately. If I take a picture, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I post it in a few hours. Because if I say I do it later, then it doesn't matter anymore. It's like... I will post like pictures, but then it's like, it's out of context. It feels like it's out of context, uh, out of the timeline. Sometimes you see a photo dump. Sorry guys, here's a photo dump. Why do people it. apologize? Who cares? Just just post it. Dump on my face. Give me I all the photos. It. Give it to Give me. Give me more. We want more content. Yes. Give me content. Don't overthink, just post. Yeah. That's what we should do. Be more intentional, right? Yes. When we got to the airport, though, 
you did me the favor of we uh, of dropping me off with the luggage before. That was that was yeah, good strategy, baby. Good strategy there, but then we discovered that at the Las Vegas Harry Reid Airport, they changed the economy parking. Oh yeah, they did. That was a pain in the ass because we went to where the, the spot where the economy parking is, and now it says employees swipe your badge, and we're like, employees since when? Yeah, that changed. I used to see employees there, but. I thought it was a combination, but now, yeah, they changed the economy parking now. It's over located by the short-term parking, first floor underneath the parking structure. Do you terminal like it one, better? and it's a terminal one in case anybody needs to know. Do I like it better? I do like it better because now you don't have to worry about a shuttle. And, and you just walk underneath the parking structure. You cross, uh, I would say the street or underneath the passenger pickup and you're right there. You get into the airport pretty quick. So smoother process. Yeah. More faster. Yeah, because the struggle about getting, you know, when you're getting the shuttle, they're not always running every 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes I've seen it take a while sometimes. It's like, damn, when you're running late, it's like every minute counts. Yeah. So we were a little stressed in there because we're like, oh, man, where is this place? And will we find it in time? Yeah. And we did. Oh, we, you asked the pilot. I it was a pilot. Oh, yeah, it was a pilot because he yeah. was the employee checking in where we thought we were supposed to go. Yeah, that was like, the first oh. person. The only human we saw at 4 in the morning. Yeah, it was really early. Yeah. It's really early dark. for the Koreas. Yeah, we saw the sunrise after we, we went uh, through security. So he was the only person out there, and he's like the one. I said, all right, you follow that bus, go to the left. He was really kind. He was really kind. The witch that attended me, that told me my luggage was 52 pounds, was nice, too. And I yeah. say witch because it was Halloween. She was dressed like a witch. And she was dressed as a witch. She was not <laughs> acting like a witch. <laughs> yeah. Like our last experience. Oh, the one in Reno when we in had our, our service dog. Our cutie. service dog experience. And, and this lady was giving us a hard time. And even though we showed her the documents that we got from Southwest that allows you to have a service dog, she was still giving us a hard time. So we went, uh, we, we asked for her manager and the manager was really kind. And she said, you know, we're just using the incorrect term. You got to say alert dog. Alert dog. You got to be very specific because that's what cutie is. She's an alert dog. And that's all you have to say. And she was a witch. She that was lady a witch. was she sucked. She was a real witch. That one Ooh. was mean Ooh. to us. Ooh. I got wet. This water is. Ooh. <laughs> it's already getting past us right here. You can yeah. see it right here, getting on the pavement here. You know, oh. it's always funny to me when we're going through security. You know, like it was my bad with the Nintendo Switch, but in, at the same time, there's other things that we've become experts. Like I already know I'm not gonna, I'm not going to have anything in my pockets. Everything's going to be in my fanny pack. The fanny pack's secured. And, you know, everything's taken care of. Belts off. Shoes are off. And constantly, you look back, there's always people. Oh, this too? Oh, this too? This too? And it's like, yes, that too. Is this your first time at the freaking security at TSA at the airport? Really? So those people that, the security guards that repeat, that message of take off your shoes, take off yeah. this, take off this. You're Ooh. wondering sometimes like who are they t who they're talking to? Yeah, they're talking to those people. Yeah, and they have they have to deal with with uh, the some of the worst kind of like cops, some of the worst people like with uh, terrible attitudes, right? Just like cops, you deal with the worst of the worst, the people that are always behaving bad. So. You're getting a bunch of people in a rush, too, in TSA. Oh, speaking of people in a rush, remember when we were about to board and this family was apparently in a rush to get into the plane? Oh, and we have assigned seats, God. mind you. This is American yeah. Airlines. You pay for your seats. Yeah. This guy was cutting me off. He was in your space. Literally in your space. He was like his elbow was already like inside trying to cut you in your spot. Yeah, and you're like, move, babe, let him go through. Apparently, he's, like, in a rush. Oh, yeah, and I said it in Spanish. I sensed that there were, Span like, Spanish speakers. I didn't know that they were. Yeah, and I said, deja lo que pase, deja lo que pase, está de prisa. You know, letting him know. And then he kind of reacted, looked at us, and he's like, no, no, pase, le pase. I'm like, okay. It's like, all right, bro, I had to check you. The funny thing is, though, we get into, 
what would you call the before you get into oh the final the final little check-in spot yeah the final spot where you show your your uh, ticket and you're that going tunnel in the before you get into the plane yeah everyone here was lined up and that same guy that same guy <laughs> who cut me off his life. oh my god it was it was like because he he was a little intrusive Do you want to take Come that on. off sorry uh, this is bugging you yeah i'll put it over here thank you baby oh yeah so that was great though instant karma because <laughs> what happens the the, the the i think it was the lady first the lady talked to him we see it on the side and this lady's like Sir, you got way too many items. And she kind of gave him, like, a little bit of an attitude, though. She like, did. if she was talking to us, I would have been like, whoa, what? Like, Hold excuse on. me. Yeah. And I think she knew she was dealing with someone that might not speak English that well because she was being a little bit, like, she was getting away with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she said, you have too many items. No, no, you have to check those in. No, no, you have way too many items. And he was just kind of, like, confused. And then uh, they told him. Now we're getting closer. It's our turn. Now the guy tells her. The one that scans your ticket tells them. She actually passed. She passed because they called her down. She was already down the hallway. We're walking. They're behind us. And they're like, ma'am, ma'am, you got too many items. They were carrying a backpack, uh, a purse, uh, a couple bags, a couple handbags. And their, and their carry-on. Yeah. And they had a couple, like, even a long string, like, like a laptop bag or something yeah they were breaking the rules and then the lady's like the first thing i heard the lady's like ah, <laughs> ah, like throwing a tantrum it was so funny no come on and then they had to go back and i was like i was like oh that was amazing funny instant because it's the karma right? yeah instant karma they came in back and they didn't come back with almost nothing so yeah they probably had to check in everything that they yeah. had in their hands yeah they checked in a lot of things in there we like to sit all the way in the back so i got to see him as they were lining up in the bath to get to the bathroom that's one thing that's one of the downfalls about sitting in the back because you're trying to work on your laptop and you got people over your shoulder now just like standing there right next to you you know yeah and you are right next to the restroom so if people are blowing it up thank god it, i didn't smell anything <laughs> so what you're saying is maybe don't select those seats we did or i still like sitting in the back maybe in the middle let's try the middle next time okay like I by by the bit by the door the exit door you have a lot of leg room you just can't recline i guess one of my favorite games to play with oh she just ate it she just fell down right now this is hilarious i almost want to turn the camera no that would be so obvious. that would be so obvious but i'm going to record with this camera and then maybe we can mix it later but she just ate it really bad right now and it was hilarious so funny all right I'm, I'm recording. Pretending I'm posing over here. Yeah, we're recording. So she, she ate it hard. She's still down. <laughs> That's the go. Oh, there she goes again. Take <laughs> pictures so of me. Thank you. This is awesome. This is like a hidden camera right here. This is cool. They're having fun. They're having a good time. This is awesome. She fell down, and he fell down trying to catch her. And now, oh, there she goes. Oh, oh shit! I got too loud. <laughs> <laughs> got it okay okay all right this is okay. too much fun this is too much fun anyway so when we're walking down the aisle one of my favorite games to do baby and i told you this is i like to play look-alikes celebrity look-alikes and ah! oh shit get away I from me you. i got you i got you <laughs> it gotta be here with the hat i'll scare it away no, if it no. comes back yes 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 <laughs> this I is what's it. cool about having a hat baby i learned this from my co-worker see look if a beat comes back, you swipe it with the hat. Pa, pa, pa. So when we're walking down, and speaking of uh, paying extra, I, I like to look at the first class, see if I recognize anybody or somebody that looks like a celebrity, you know? And by recognize, I mean somebody that looks like somebody we know, of course, a look-alike. So far, I got three points. You got one point. Yeah, you're beating me. You've recognized a lot of... I found your brother. My brother, yeah, it's crazy. He that was a good one. look like him. Yeah. That's insane. Like a shorter version. Yeah. Do you think it's worth it to sit first class? Like paying that, like, is that a lot of money? Is it, the, 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 I never, you always buy the tickets, so I don't know, like, is it a huge difference, babe? If you can't afford it, meaning if it's in your budget, why not? Yeah, huh? I the feel comfort. like the comfort, the extra leg room. Yeah. The fact that you don't have to uh, wait so much 
uh, because you don't have so many people ahead of you to leave off the plane. So first you leave. to get on, last to first to get off too. First to get on, first to get off. Yeah. Uh, and more leg room. Leg room. Only two seats per aisle, huh? Yeah. That's true. I'm always mean mugging the people. Like, I'm staring at them so they know that you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> so they what? know that. Like, so they know what? I see you, baby. I see you, baby. <laughs> I see you, boo. What does that mean? I see you, boo. You spending your money right. I see you. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> so you make eye contact with them? I just make eye contact. Like, look at me. I'm sitting with the peasants. You did this to me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to make them feel bad. Okay. Uh, I don't think they're feeling bad quite. I'll tell you. Oh! oh that was dope. That got right that good. on the chair, folks. And that's why I lifted up all our electronics. Look. Our bag is wet. Hell on the yeah. <laughs> that was dope. I felt good, baby. It was refreshing. Wow. That is the Bahamas for you. Yeah. Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take it to Bermuda. That's what we get for judging that couple. <laughs> Bahama, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda. Bahama, come on, Titi Mama. And Jando, I need go. Take you to the Kokomo. Thank you, God. All right. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, watch the wave go over us. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be crazy. <laughs> Do you remember the guy when we we're sitting down in our seats already? There was a British dude that came up to this lady, firmly told him to move. He said, uh, "Yes, ma'am, I believe you're in my, you're in the wrong seats." I don't think he even said "I believe." I think he said, "Yes, ma'am, you're in the wrong seats." And then she's like, uh, uh, "Uh," and he's like, "Oh, oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm sorry." But at least it was very apologetic. But the way he he came up at her was like, "Okay, bro, calm down, dude." It was just one of those that you were so glad you witnessed him be wrong because how he asked. Yeah. It was another instant karma, huh? Yes. Yeah. This trip has taught us instant karma. Yeah. And I don't know. I get annoyed sometimes like on the plane. Again, it's it's people that you've been on the aerpl airplane before. You should know better. The guy next to us, he's playing his TikTok. He's just scrolling through TikTok and it's super loud. And, you know, you, you're coming into the plane... You got the nerves. You're gonna. You're about to fly. They're 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 saying stuff on the speakerphone. You're trying to listen. Then you're hearing someone's TikTok. There's nothing worse than hearing someone's speakerphone. I hate that. It's annoying. And even yeah. the lady on the intercon said, "Make sure that you put on your headphones so that you don't interrupt." Yeah. Or be aware of people. You know, be aware of people's surroundings. And yeah. then this guy doesn't listen. And then, throughout the the trip i'm thinking that sucks i'm thinking i'm over here getting a little like i'll be honest i got a little like annoyed and then i, w I was as i was writing down on a journal i'm like there was no reason for that though like just in my own head like why get annoyed for that who cares i got great beats over my ears i should be grateful that i have something to put over my ears to cover up the sound so uh, as i did some meditation too which was awesome the people behind me I don't know how your seat was, but they were banging the hell out of our seats. Oh, they were? Well, my seat. And then I, I, it, I, it was like woosah. After that meditation, nothing bugged me. I even leaned back. They didn't get annoyed, so I was cool. I'm like, if you're going to bump the chair in my head, I'm just going to pretend we're on a bumpy road. And then my, my seat just keeps going like that. Just like if it's air. Oh, turbulence. I'm just going to pretend it's turbulence. So it was like nothing was bugging me, but it was pretty cool. A little meditation we did did that meditation together or you shared it with me yeah maybe we could share it here it's a really good video on how to meditate uh, for those who maybe are exploring meditation or don't yeah. know how this video really helped me on yeah. how to quiet the mind and how to meditate because it is hard when yeah. no one has taught you how to do it and you have tons of meditation even guided meditation videos but i've never really been taught how to meditate i just get guided on what to do that's not really how to though 
And one of the things that was pretty cool about this video is that the first 20 minutes, this gentleman sits there and he talks to you about how your mind is going to wander off and kind of like a little puppy, you're going to want to pick it up and redirect it. And it's okay if you have to do it a hundred times. You're going to have to do it a lot of times. You're just training the brain like a puppy. You're just training it and you have to do it over and over repetition until it yeah. gets it. And if you feel like you're, um, you're doing it wrong because you keep getting, you know, distracted, that means you're doing it right because you're aware. You're being self-aware that you're doing it wrong. So anything you're doing, that's all meditation. It's being self-aware what is what it comes down to it. And just focusing on your breathing. He spends the first minute on the breathing, and, and then he gives you a mantra. And the mantra was pretty cool. It was, oh. it was sol, oh, sol, sol on the inhale hum. and hum. I think it was hum, right? Hum. One is the one is hum. Yeah, one is hum. One is sol, sol. So how do you how do you say it while you're breathing in? You can't. So See, I need to rewatch the video. <laughs> so. So. Do it with me. Even that right there, that right there feels like, I don't know, did you, did you like escape <laughs> a little bit? I feel like I escaped. I went somewhere. Oh, yeah? Oh, I went somewhere. I don't know, you went somewhere. I went somewhere. I'll bring you there with me. Take me. I'll bring you with me. That's but cool. I went somewhere. But it's cool. It's, it's, it was so good to meditate, babe. And I'm telling you, that didn't bug me. The people, if anything, they were all uncomfortable trying to, they were leaning on their table and trying to fix their, you know, selves. And I think other people would have probably got annoyed. Maybe if I didn't meditate, it would have been like, oh, come on, man. Stop bumping my thing. Learning the mantra, going back to the mantra part, I really like how anytime a distraction would come, I, I would say hum or soul. And that would be my focus now. So it's a good way to bring you back to center. Yeah, and get centered, huh? Yeah. And you, it's like a block, like you're blocking off any kind of... Whoa, you're moving the camera. Whoa, there. sorry. <laughs> I got a little too excited. I was doing my Kung Fu blocks. <laughs> ha, oh, so... So... Ha, so... So... So with, with, with the guy that was next to us with the speakerphone, at first, I was, you know, like, come on, dude, you got your speakerphone, you're watching TikTok. And I noticed one time there was like a Mexican, uh, like, a sound like banda coming from a TikTok. I'm like, oh, this black dude likes, he must be one of those black dudes that likes to watch Spanish, funny Spanish TikTok or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But when we land, he starts talking in Spanish. And it was a Colombian dude, babe. He had just arrived from Colombia. Just immigrated out here, baby. He was talking on the phone. This lady on the phone was talking about luchar por la vida, saying you gotta find a place to stay, find a, place, a job. And he was just landing in Miami. He must have transferred somewhere in Las Vegas and got there, you know, through there. But it was cool to see that, you know. Oh, let me see. Maybe you got a little hair right here. Okay. It was cool, like, and, and I was like, man, I, I felt guilty in my heart because I'm like. Here I'm judging him for not wearing headphones and stuff. The poor guy was, you know what his luggage was, babe? It was a little Salvation Army bag. I felt bad. I'm like, Sad. eternally. He does have maybe uh, a one-up from others who come here yeah. in a dangerous way. Yeah. And then they have nothing. Like yeah. He He's going to start from the bottom. He money enough to come in an airplane. And he didn't Somebody come in a cheap airfare. It was American Airlines. It's not the cheapest. It's not the cheapest. Maybe there was some kind of sponsorship or something. Somebody help or some kind of immigration assi assistance. He's coming from Colombia, and and you would have never thought this guy spoke Spanish. Oh, yeah. I was so shocked. I'm like, whoa. He's talking in Spanish. Yeah. That's probably all he spoke. It's like my dad. My dad, he was a black dude. People would see him, and they would never 
think that he spoke Spanish in the West Coast. Yeah. In the East Coast, in Miami, is like, yeah, of course, that makes sense. Bunch of Dominicans speaking Spanish. We're just not used to it. Yeah, not used to it, baby. You know, we got to our hotel room. That hotel room was badass, by the way. When we got to Miami, you found this hotel room. Is that in the port of Miami? No, you found it. Oh, I found it? Yeah, you showed me a YouTube video. Oh, yeah. And this lady does That's right. amazing videos where she gives you tips on cruises and where to stay. And she gave a great recommendation on this hotel, yeah. which was right close to the Miami port. Super close. Yeah. And it was Holiday Inn. The crazy thing about this hotel is that it's almost like it's a secret hotel. It Meaning is. It's not marked. It's not advertised that it's Holiday Inn. There's yeah. no signage anywhere There's no signs outside. The front. Even our Uber driver passed it. Yeah. She know. missed it, huh? Our and Uber we kept telling her. It. We kept telling her, no, no, it's back there. Trust me. The map says it's over here. And she's like, no, no, no. It's over here. Yeah. By the way, she was like not good. She got lost it right in the beginning. How? She missed an exit. This is how you know you don't have a good Uber driver. How does your Uber driver ask you? What way you should I go? Where, yeah, do you know where you're going? We're at a where fork. We're going? I'm like, at um, a crossroads. You just picked me up from the airport, lady. Yeah. More than likely, I do not know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're, and we're, we're like in the middle of the fork. Should we go right? Should we go left? I don't know. I'm like, I was talking to you about my mom and my sister spending time with each other and be, some story they were telling me. And she interrupts, what should, where should I go? I'm like, uh, I don't know. And she asks right. How am I supposed to know? When you're supposed to decide whether you're supposed to go right, right. or left. She doesn't ask, you know, within time. So it's like, um, Let I me know in know. advance. Yeah. yeah. Help me help you, lady. Yeah. So that was, that was unique. Yeah. But this hotel was <laughs> amazing. Not just the hotel, the location was amazing. The yeah. room like we didn't expect this, what we saw when we entered the room, right? Yeah, it was it, it was dark, and I'm like, you look at the room, and you're expecting to see where the end of the room is, where the wall is. We look, and there's a hallway, like there's a hallway, okay, and it's not even the the bed; it's the living room. Then it has a little kitchen area with a microwave, a full size refrigerator, refrigerator, a K cup coffee maker, a walk in closet two closets a desk yeah two closets then you go to the walkway uh the hallway and that there's that's the other closet then you have the restroom and then the bedroom check it out whoa our own living room a living room in miami what <laughs> our own walk-in closet in miami I could sleep in there. What? Look at that. Our own safe? Hell yeah, you got your own safe. On in its, Miami? On its own ped pedestal, too. Look at that. Oh, wow. Let me see. Let me try and move it. <laughs> Let's see how. Oh. No, oh, it's not going anywhere, baby. Uh, it's definitely bolted. <laughs> I'm going to set off an alarm. <laughs> Wow, this is nice, huh, baby? And our own kitchen in Miami? Yeah, look at this. What? Welcome yes. to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. Our own coffee maker and our own microwave. Dame un poquito de cortadito. Hello, America. Hello, America. The Correas have made it to Miami. Yes. That's awesome. Look, all the palm trees right there. Our own TV in Miami. Well, I guess I it's keep desert. saying in Miami. <laughs> My own baby. Yeah. In Miami. Oh, I'm your own baby. <laughs> Whoa! It continues. Yeah. Look at this big ass room. Another closet. This this is how big the suites are in the MGM, like in Mandalay and stuff. Whoa. Obviously not the penthouses, but like the nice, just like the step up. These are the suites right here. This is cool. Oh. We didn't even mean to do that, huh? No. This is what, by, by accident or yeah, what? Yeah, I just chose the most affordable one. That's crazy, baby. You got a really good room. I mean, you know me. We don't go too crazy on prices with rooms. We'll go out there and have That's ourselves. That's where all the entertainment is. Yeah. I want to go over there to the friendship of what is it called? The torch of oh, friendship. friendship. Yeah. Look how many windows we have. We have that one over there in the living room. This one, this one, and this big old one. You're a big old one. 
This is a big one. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Take it easy. <laughs> it's the bathroom. I didn't show the bathroom. Hello, there's me. And on top of that, it's a corner room. I want to call it a corner suite because that's a suite to it me. It was a corner suite. And we so weren't beautiful. even trying to go for a corner suite. I just booked the most affordable room. That, 150 bucks? 150 bucks. Right in the corner, we had the view of the mall, the intersection across the street, and that big uh, walkway mall. I forgot the name of it. But you took a picture in front of that old tree, over 110 years old. Oh, my gosh. It was I think so beautiful. I have a, an obsession with trees. Yeah, me too. It looked like from a storybook. Yeah. Or a magical forest. We, we had gone there a while back, huh? There, there was a parrot and a monkey yes. that they had around there during the day. But it did feel like a magical forest. Like, it was so, I don't know. I love that tree. Reminds me of the, like, uh, the redwood trees in California. All those trees are over 200, 300 years old. Thousands. Love, Some of them are thousands of years old, right? Yeah. I think so. I love trees. I love trees, too. They're, they're connected to earth, everything that's living. It's, it's amazing. That's why seeing the trees in the boat is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, they have a Central Park. That part is amazing. It's, it's a so beautiful good. replica kind of vibe yeah. of Central Park in New York. Not as big. Ooh, mm -hmm. This is like an actual park here. So, is the plants real? Oh, it's real. Baby. Yeah, it's real. Oh, wow. This is oh, it's a map? Yeah, so oh, thank you. I want to show that. Yeah, it's like a little map of the Central Park. Wow, we have so Central time. Park in our ship so there's a library oh I, I saw the library people were playing games in there yeah they have a cafe park cafe yeah. let's walk to the park this is chill right here man this is, this is so nice chill oh this is nice to hang out and chill look no one's lights on oh yeah those are people's rooms I forgot. we're just walking here just a little exploring of Central Park. Here's Park Cafe, baby. Yeah, that's Park Cafe. Whoa, this is nice. Yeah, I want a picture. It's beautiful. All the greenery, the trees there. Well, hell no, it's not as big. Oh, well, hell no. Well, yeah, because it's acres, right? Central Park is acres. Yeah, thousands. Not thousands. Oh, hell yeah, thousands. Thousands of acres? Yeah, oh yeah. How many thousands? <laughs> Probably ten thousands. Whoa. <laughs> Hundred thousands. Comment a below. A million thousands. A million thousands. Comment below if you know. Comment, Comment below Central if you Park agree is. that a million thousands should be a word. <laughs> a million thousand. Is it a million thousand, a billion? I don't know. Um, I should have to took know. I should have took more math. I hated math growing up. So getting it, checking into the cruise, man, she just keeps eating it. It's awesome. <laughs> I wish they sent me the video, their GoPro video, so I could splice it in here. So good. <laughs> so after our our stay there at the Holiday Inn Express, is that Express? I don't know, Holiday Inn at the Port oh, of Miami. Yeah, yes. The guy at the front desk was so nice. Everybody that was on that, he reminded me of Felipe Esparza. That's where I achieved one point for the lookalike challenge. Because this guy sounded like Felipe Esparza. He sounded like him. He, he kind of looked, looked like, like him. him. He had the beard, the long hair. Damn it. I should have took a picture of him so we could do a splice picture in picture. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Made sure we took care of him. We tipped him. You know, got to take care of people. That's one thing I observed. I noticed that he would go up to the people, especially older folks. He would check in on them. Even though he's at the front desk, he's checking in on them. Hey, your ride's almost here. Your Uber's almost here. Hey, I got your baggage over here. That's what it's all about. It's about giving good service. You know, and us being in the service industry. We noticed. I noticed that even more now. Right? Yeah. Even uh, getting to the boat. We took an Uber ride. The Uber ride, baby, was $6. $6, that's it. So, again, I had cash on me. So, I hooked up the driver with a $5 bill. I'm like, Uber's going to rip you off on this. Yeah. They're going to keep, keep like 60% of the money, you know? So... You bust that out. Then you bust out another five for the person helping you with the luggage out. So you're just ready to bust out that money. You got to bless people. Got to bless people. Money has no language. Yes. That's what I heard someone say. And money is energy. Yeah, money has no language. People communicate with language. It's universal, if anything. Money is a universal language, if anything. Yeah. 
Even it even made my voice squeak right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you bust out the money. They they're gonna smile at you. They're gonna take care of you. And I think this check-in process, by the way, is so much easier than the West Coast. We've done the Los Angeles port and the Long Beach port so far. Long Beach port was better than Los Angeles, right? Yes, I agree. Yeah. But Miami beats them all. Yeah. So much better. Yeah. Smoother. So uh, smooth. More organized. Yeah. Like it looks like its own little airport over here. Like yeah. Port. How they have the it, signage. It does. It was easy, and and they have so many ships that land there, or 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 they deck or p park. I don't know what the term is, but. <laughs> But the, the Uber driver was giving us a little bit of a tour guide. While he's driving, he was telling us, yeah, that boat you're going on, it has the Central Park. It has that slide that goes from the top to the bottom. He was giving us a little, that's why I was like, man, too bad it was just five bucks. But, you know, it's like you put in that extra service again, you go the extra mile, it's going to pay off. Yes. That was cool. Now, the downfall, the shows the downfall? to reserve the shows, that part was a downfall. Oh, that you is a downfall. You were not happy about that, baby. Happy at all. So they had us check in on the boat at two thirty. Yeah. So by the time we get inside the ship, which is the only time you're able to reserve any shows, because before that you're not able to, yeah. even though you have to be on the ship's Wi-Fi network. Yeah, exactly. In order to reserve. Which I think there, Royal Caribbean. If I'm going to give you any tips there. Yeah. That is. That sucks. That sucks because I think everyone should have a playing field. Even. Our, it should be even should for be everybody, even, right? No matter if you're on the ship or not. Or if you're not going to make that available until everyone is uh, on the ship, yeah. then don't have everyone reserve until everyone is on the ship. Yeah, because. Have, have it even playing field for everyone. We came in a little later to stagger it because they staggered people to come in so that it could be a smooth process, right? That's awesome. But then if we come in at 2.30, by the time we got to the muster station or whatever, I keep thinking it's mustard. Mustard. DJ -S -S Mustard. T-R. But when, by the time we got there, they gave us the safety briefing. We go into the room. It's the comedy club or some room. Yeah, it is the comedy, the comedy club. club. And they're, everybody's showing up, too, and they're telling everybody, oh, it's over. Everybody's already booked. What do you mean it's booked? We just got here. That's yeah. not cool. Everyone had left who does the booking. Yeah, and they Royal tell Caribbean. us to call this number. And then we call the number, and they say, oh, well, everything is booked already. Yeah. I'm like, what? No. For both days, not just the first day. It was booked for all the days there. Now, granted, they do have the standby list and all that stuff, which is cool. We were still able to get into the ice skating show, which was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, we did. We saw that, even though that was reserved. People are walking in, walking out. So you find seats. First, we had to stand around a little bit. But then we found some good seats. So that was fun. But that sucks, the whole rest. Because I'm used to the other two ships that we've gone. You reserve it through the app as you go right like an hour before or something which is what i thought it was going to be here too but apparently yeah. you have to reserve it as soon as you get on the ship because if not you miss out well not you're gonna uh, miss out it's just that you're not gonna have a reservation and then you're gonna have to go by the standby line which yeah. lets you i guess still see any show that has been fully reserved mm -hmm. but you just have to stand by a line and then yeah they say that that line opens 10 minutes before showtime mm -hmm. and then you get in so yeah i guess what is the point of reservation well it, there is a point that you don't have to stand by the reservation or the standby line but yeah. royal caribbean make it a fair grounds for everyone yeah where it, everyone has a fair chance to book a reservation yeah that part, i thought that part was kind of lame because uh being a big ship like this i like how organized they are in so many areas it sucks that they lacked right there that part that was a downfall because we're coming all the way from the West Coast. We're missing out on, uh, you know, potential seats that you could have, you know, if it's a special occasion or something. Right. Can you imagine if that's the way it was with, like, dinners? Like, all the like all the dinners are reserved. Now you got to be on standby. I know that's dumb. Oh, that would suck. What, yeah. Don't fuck with the food. Don't mess with my food. You fuck with I the food. I will <laughs> go to guest services. and. I'll hop ships. I'll go to Carnival. <laughs> I'll buy a ticket for Carnival. I'll be like... Give me my luggage. I wonder how the carnival is on this. I want to go back to carnival, by the way. Yeah, well, we've done already two Royal Caribbean Yeah, cruises, two Royal Caribbeans. So we've only done one carnival, which was our first one. So we got to go back to carnival. Yeah, baby. So far, I'll tell you what. This has been awesome. Getting to record a podcast with you out here, baby, next to the beach. I wasn't imagining that. I, I did in not have that. Yeah, I did not even have that. 
pictured. I, I have the room set up for podcast. I didn't think we were going to record here. This is awesome. Shout out to Movo. You could get this on Amazon. And what you have here, this is a handle. And it comes with a wind... Wind, uh, wind protector? Yeah, wind, wind protector. Blocker. Wind blocker. Yeah, and it's a pot, it serves as a pot filter as well. And if you take it off, it's compatible with the DJI wireless microphones, which you could get also on Amazon. The best microphones I've ever had. They come with a little wind blocker also, a little one. And you can clip it on. It has a magnet. But these little Movo right here... Uh, handles. This is pretty cool, huh? I love them. And we already tested a video and heard the audio, and the audio is sounds as you'll great. Hear here. Yeah, it sounds great. And you plug it into the bottom of your iPhone or or Android. And in, in case something didn't work out, where there's uh, an error, it's recording into the microphone's memory as well. So then you could transfer the memory from here. That's a little more technical, but I recommend both this, the Movo. Wind, wind blocker, they're only, what, $20? $20 each. each, each. Oh, wow. And it comes with three wind blockers. It comes with uh, turquoise, orange, and black, I believe. Thank you for buying this because this is so convenient to podcast on the go. Yeah. Oh, you want to interview people on the go? Interview people on the go, pop it in. You want to do a show on the go? Yeah, and it gives you more, like, it's, there's something about recording like this, holding a microphone. It makes you feel like you're podcasting as opposed to just talking like this with a, ah, I got you. <laughs> you got me? You just hit my leg. I just hit you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Should insert a uh, pan, pan hitting sound. Okay, yeah, so uh, oh. get the sample or Amazon, right? Yes. Maybe we can put our Amazon link. Yes, we'll put the Amazon link for both of these. Yes. Both of these products are great. Now, back to the show. So I want to show you a video. So, football season just started. And and the Raiders coach just got fired. The Raiders coach just got fired. Bye-bye. McDaniels. I hope they bring back Chucky. I think the way Chucky got let go was they did him wrong. He got canceled because they, they exposed some of his emails, which was in privacy. But whatever. But now football season is back. And, of course, you got people that drink a little too much alcohol. They get a little too emotional. And they end up getting in fights. We talked about this before when we went to the Chargers game versus the Raiders. Two Charger fans were fighting each other. Let me sit back because I feel like my titties are um, they're rising right now. Apparently, this lady took some seats. And they're arguing. I think the lady in the front, she's saying, let's move. And the guy's moving. Look, he's picking up his stuff. And then that lady is still talking smack. And then she's turning around. The guy's leaving. He's yeah, trying to... He's trying to say relax. And he's leaving, and she's still talking smack. And she has her beer. Oh, boom, slap. The slap came in. Oh, another slap. Boom, boom. That was a that was a combo. That was a two-piece and a biscuit. She's getting smacked around. I like how their boyfriend, the one who... Yeah. Oh, now she's getting double smacked this by two right girls. Here, who he's smiling. No, he's not even like do anything. I'm I know. Not, like, he, Look at his smile yeah. though. Look at his grin. He has a stupid grin on his face. First he left his girl, and now he just holds her hands back. Get in front and block the punches, dude. First of all, punches, that's not dude. a man right there. That's not a man, dude. That's not a man. First of all, he wasn't not even a man, looking not a man, over, not a telling man. her to calm down. Not that you have to do that, because I yeah. know that once a man gets involved, then the other man can get involved, and then it can turn into a bigger fight. Yeah. So I understand maybe the man keeping quiet to keep the peace. But yep. when shit went down, he wasn't even defending his girl. <laughs> no, he was he not. He was just watching. It was like, is this your first day, bro? I'm like, bro? what are you doing there, bro? <laughs> you just became a by uh, like a bystander all of a sudden? Yeah. It almost at least seemed... you would at least, uh, I mean, uh, you would try to, like like block do you think there's a disconnection like could it be that that was his homie's girl and they were like or it could be somebody else and then the other person was missing they were getting beer the way he was acting it was very disconnected even the way no but then he grabbed her and the t his arms were under her tits yeah he tries to pull her but he tries to pull her if she's getting smacked her. around get in front block the punches but when he finally, yeah exactly he was he was pretty much holding her back now she's getting smacked around by two girls. Exactly. Boom. He's not doing Boom. anything to protect her or help her out in this case. Yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. 
you would think he would go to her aid, but when he finally goes to help or uh, do any form of physical action, yeah, he's pulling her away. Like yeah. if she's doing the punching, if anything, someone's punching your girl yeah. and she's trying yeah. to defend herself, yeah, and you're not even doing anything. Yeah. By the way, okay, strategy. Okay, this is this is coming from somebody that just watches a lot of fight videos, and I'm not saying uh, I'm a I'm a fighter, especially at a stadium. But here's a little strategy what I, I would recommend. Just from UFC, from the stuff I watch. And I watch a lot of karate movies, okay? <laughs> but what I would recommend, instead of her just blocking, she's blocking like if the punches are going to stop. No, the punches are going to keep coming, baby. You got you to gotta grab that grip. You're blocking, but you got to squeeze. Grab a hold of something. When you squeeze, guess what? They're higher ground. You're going to bring them down with you. Now the bitch is going to fly. So what What do you do if you're fighting at a lower ground and somebody's punching down in you? You grab and you pull. The motherfucker's coming with you. So if it's a big Kool-Aid looking motherfucker, oh well. He's coming down. And trust me, when they come down, it's pretty funny. I saw this video of a big Kool-Aid looking guy. I'm talking about Kool-Aid the, the cartoon. He's rolling down the stadium. It's so funny. Oh man, this, this guy, babe, he's getting in a fight with some other dude. <laughs> and next thing you know... He punches, he gets pushed, and he starts rolling down like a beach ball. It's fucking hilarious. It's the best. It's almost as funny as the guy that threw up on himself. Oh, wait, I cannot watch that. That video, no. that's also at a football stadium. Baby, that beats my throw up video because this guy was throwing up for days. I can't. And then in the background of the video, you hear somebody say, I'm punch him straight in the face. Are they saying that because they're getting grossed out? Uh, I can't. Like, I would like to know the context of that video. What happened right before? Did he get in a fight and then he started puking? I thought he was in a like an eating contest and he couldn't handle it. Is no, that... he was just sitting there in the stadium at a football oh. stadium, babe. He's sitting there in his seats just like this. He's like, Burr. he's not even covering his face. His, his arms are on his side. And he just, or maybe he is covering his face, but he just puking out. And it's an avalanche, non-stop, babe. Yeah, it's pretty I bad. Was, it's horrendous. I couldn't watch it. As you know, I get really disgusted with that with those type of videos. And yeah, baby. I'm like, oh no. Yeah. Off immediately. But as far as this video, right, the punching video, this this little fight video, you're right. I agree with you. This guy was like, what do you think? Do you think it was a boyfriend? Yes. Yeah. Because you could tell how he tells her to calm down. Yeah. Is either a boyfriend telling her or talking to you or a brother, a big brother or a Theo? Yeah, maybe, maybe it or was. A brother. I feel like it was some kind of relative for sure. Whether it's a friend, I don't, I don't feel like it was boyfriend material right there. I don't uh, think a boyfriend would do that. Let's yeah, watch it again. Right, like how See, like right there, he's telling her to calm down. Yeah, he's he's reaching her. to her. The lady in the back is yelling at her. I think the, the title was They're in the Wrong Seats. Something like that is what I read. Yeah, oh yeah, look. Fight breaks out at Raiders Stadium in Los Angeles. Oh, after a couple sits in seats they didn't purchase. <gasps> oh, so they were sitting in the wrong seats and the guy was kind of embarrassed. That's why he was getting up and leaving. You see that? But still, I mean, they say couple in there, so it does confirm that they are a couple, but... Well, yeah, whoever recorded it says is saying this. Sure. Or whoever posted this video, right? No. Um, caddy of the other girl's friends to get in like that's between your home girl and the other girl why are you bitches getting into it yeah that's yeah. not cool and i don't like when girls get on girls yeah and they and have for, higher ground yeah like i don't like women it's like two against one let it's it one be girl. one against one yeah. they started it your girl can handle it. it's not like yeah. your girl is getting like ambushed over here like yeah. she, she can handle her own her own beef here yeah, unless she was talking smack to her first and then she got involved. Yeah, we don't know the whole context, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. That's why that guy falling down the stairs, the big Kool-Aid-looking guy, baby, there's different angles of it. This is what's awesome about the Internet. I would like to see if we could find different angles of this video and, and find out a little bit more context. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Let's find out how and why that guy fell. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's so funny. As we're doing a podcast and we're, we're our view is the ocean i see so many people with gopros taking pictures and it's like i'm so self-conscious when we're doing it but we're all doing it we're everybody's doing, doing it. it everyone's doing everybody's it. doing it this is beautiful
I like this, I like, baby. I like podcasting with you internationally. This is our first international podcast. International podcast coming at you. Yeah. What do you think? We should start heading back, baby? Yeah, we should start heading back to the ship. The oasis the of the oasis, seas. Which I can see right here. Oh, yeah. And it's it's right over there. And it's barely 1 o'clock. Look at that. Head back. Get some grub. <laughs> Get some grub, baby. And I think we should start hitting up the jacuzzis, the yeah, hot tubs. Yeah, we right? should take advantage of the, the solarium. pools. Yeah, the pools. Let's do it, my baby. Thank you for watching this episode. If you like this video and you want more, there is more. We got you covered. Yeah. Make sure you watch a video. Where? Right here. Right here? Or over here. <laughs> <laughs>